Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah and welcome. Today we're going to take a look at installing FSR3 mod for Ellen Wake 2 on the Steam Deck. This is for Windows 11, not for SteamOS. I'll have a video for SteamOS later. So let's get right into it. So this is a paid mod, and in order to do this, you need to uh, subscribe to Luke FZ. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, his Patreon. I need to be a member of that Patreon. And that's going to give you access to his Discord server, where you can download the mod files. And you can also take a look at my Patreon if you wish to support me. Uh, you don't get any benefits, but it's just if you wish to support me. <laughs> that's about it. And you can take a look at the uh, spreadsheet that is uh, by Luke FZ, and it shows which games uh, have been tested and supported. And uh, you can take a look that Alan Wake 2 is there and it gives you various information like which version uh, you have to use of the mod and what you need to do for AMD graphic cards and NVIDIA graphic cards and so on and so forth, right? You can see here regular installation. Um, so, you know, for Alan Wake 2, and you can also see that it's mentioning, okay, this, these versions need like CFR, which is uh, another uh, sort of version of, of for Cyberpunk, uh, but you don't need to get into that details right there. And that's basically it. And once you have the appropriate files, uh, you need to uh, you know, go to the appropriate files. Here I'm going to use the 0.7.3 mod, but I think you can use anything for uh, any of these for Alan Wake uh, 2, like uh, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.1 even, I think. And uh, basically what, what this shows here is, depending on the game you're using, if your game has FSR 2.1, 2.0, 2.2, you need to use the appropriate file. And I have FSR 2.2 here uh, because Alan Wake 2 uses that uh, particular version. And we're going to be using that. Then we simply need to go to the game folder and drag and drop the files inside of the game folder where the exe file exists. The main exe file exists of the game. You can see alanwake2.exe. And that's it. We're done. You can run the game and it should work like a charm. As simple as that. This is for Windows installation, of course. For SteamOS, it's a bit of a different process. Uh, and let me know if you're interested in that. And here you can see that I'm running the game. Once you are in the game, there are a few settings that we need to do in order to uh, configure frame generation. It's fairly easy. You simply go to your options. And you go to your graphic settings. And then you switch. You should be on FSR2 by default. So you just switch to DLSS and you check frame generation. This is still FSR 3 frame generation. It just appears under DLSS toggle, that's it. And you're done. And you can run the game and it should be just fine. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. And if you found this helpful, please leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. And let me know what you'd like to see in the future. Thank you so much. Assalamu alaikum.